Everybody remembers the Supremes, at least everybody over 30. How can we ever forget Diana Ross, Florence Ballard, Mary Wilson, the hot trio who gave us a chain of mega hits, including classics like Baby Love, Stop in the Name of Love, and You Can't Hurry Love. Well, you can't hurry success either. And getting to the point where they reigned supreme took more than just hard work. It also took a little luck. This is a story about three fresh-faced teenage girls with velvet voices and stars in their eyes. You probably recognize them as the Supremes. Back in the early 60s, they went by another name. By 1963, we had recorded at least six, seven records. And all of those records were flops. <laughs> so we got this name of the no-hit Supremes. And it was very, very embarrassing. Embarrassment turned to hope when Motown chief Barry Gordy hooked them up with the hit songwriting team HDH. Eddie Holland, Lamont Dozier, and Brian Holland. We really, really looked up to these guys who were going to be the guys that were going to make us famous. But their high hopes for instant stardom faded when the no-hit Supremes were presented with their first HDH tune. The song was first given to the Marvelettes, and uh, they turned it down. Probably for the same reason that we didn't want it, that it just was so, it's like, baby, baby. I thought that Where Did Our Love Go was real teeny boppish. And, and we really, even though we were teenagers, we really thought of ourselves as being very mature. But in the recording session, something happened that none of them expected. It became so hypnotic that we really got into it. And then we were, we were told that we might have a chance to go on the Dick Clark Caravan of Stars tour. For a $1.50 ticket all through the summer of 64, kids packed high school auditoriums, roller skating rinks, and burlesque houses. And that's when the magic began. Two weeks into the tour, our record became a hit. Well, we didn't know that because we were on this raggedy bus. Then one night, Dick Clark said, ladies and gentlemen, the Supremes and the roof went off. Baby, 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 don't leave me. At that moment on stage, you know, hearing that applause, it's like falling in love. And that's just what America did with the Supremes. I'd be the first person to say that I didn't know it was going to be a hit, but that was the song that made us what we are. <laughs> it made the Supremes, no doubt about it. Where did I Although Mary Wilson and, of course, Diana Ross went on to have tremendous success in their solo careers, it was never the same again, not really. Never supreme. That's it for now.